This Minecraft map is illegal in five countries. I know, that seems crazy. How can a collection of blocks in a video game be an act of rebellion? Normally, written books in Minecraft aren't very good past a couple of villager trades. But here, they offer an awesome opportunity for free thinkers around the world to read banned books without government limitation. Now, when you first connect to the world, it's easy to get blown away by the spectacle. From spawn, a pad teleports you to the library, and the scope of the structure is every bit as impressive as what lies inside. Walking on in, a large map greets you to the main dome, and here you can find the mission statement behind the project, and why it's so problematic for some of the world's most oppressive governments. You see, as the internet continues to expand with more and more information by the second, the efforts of overbearing leaders grow as well. And for people living in those lockdown countries, it can feel hopeless trying to find some form of freedom. However, despite all of the restrictions that have been put in place, Minecraft remains accessible. Herein lies the loophole that Reporters Without Borders sought to exploit. On March 12th of this year, the doors opened to the uncensored library map. Built as a collaboration project for the build team Blockworks, this gigantic library features an expanding collection of books that are filled with banned texts. Articles from reporters that have been silenced, punished, and even slaughtered for their work can now find a new light in the world download. In the map, there are five distinct sections for Mexico, Russia, Vietnam, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia. And in every single one of them, you can visit them to find out and read about some of the local journalists that gave their livelihoods for some of that information. But that's not all, because in addition to the over 200 books within the project, each main room features a centerpiece meant to symbolize the censorship that's been endured in the specific location. For example, Vietnam's section features the labyrinth where you're either delayed or blocked from the truth. Whereas Russia's part features a giant Kraken-styled monster that showcases just the threat of how difficult it can be to search for free information. And with all of this, this project offers a rare form of freedom to the citizens of these countries. Like in Egypt, where the articles available here have been explicitly banned, players can now join to the project's server and even explore it for themselves. Although, worth mentioning is that with even more media attention, that opportunity could be fleeting. Clearly, if these leaderships are willing to restrict speech in one way or another, then there is a possibility that they could just ban the IP or even Minecraft to prevent this. So it begs the question, why did I bother making this video if it could just contribute to the map getting removed eventually? Well, while more of a spotlight could kill off the initial head of the project, by raising awareness and having more people like you download the world, the uncensored library's legacy gets that much more secure. So, if you watched to this point, I ask you to check out the build for yourself and see what you think, and maybe just help play a role in freeing the press. Because in times like this where it feels like the only media attention that gaming receives is negative, I don't think that accurately represents the power of games. And to me, that power is the ability to escape a world with the reality and restrictions of our own and experience something new. And by doing that, hopefully we just happen to make something special. With that, folks, I've been Skip the Tutorial. Take care, and have a good one, alright?